while we are hammering a nail. Applied force or muscular force is pushing the nail into the wall. And friction, it is opposing the movement. Now let's see forces acting while we are running. We are applying muscular force to move forward. Gravity is pulling us downwards. Friction, as we know, friction is the opposing force for any movement, so it opposes our movement and also prevents us from slipping on the road. Air resistance is also a type of friction that is posed by the air and prevents anything moving and decreases the speed of the moving object. Now let's see forces acting while we are playing a striker game. We apply muscular force or applied force to move the striker ahead. Friction. Friction is always there when the two objects are in contact. And here, the striker and the board is in contact. So, the smoother the board, the lesser will be the friction. And the rougher the board, the more will be the friction. Here, the surface of the board is very smooth, so it possesses little friction and the striker goes very far. Now let's see forces acting in this table fan. Mechanical force. Blades of the fan are moving fast through the mechanical force of the motor inside the fan. Moving air force. Moving air has force that blows away the lighter objects in front of it. And here are the forces acting while rowing a boat. Let's see. Muscular force. We are using the muscular force to move the oar of the boat to pull the water backwards and move the boat forwards. Friction. It is because of friction that we can hold anything firmly. We can hold the oar because of the friction between our hands and the oar. If the oar is slippery or the hands are slippery, we cannot hold it. Gravity. Gravity pulls the boat downwards. Buoyancy makes the boat float. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!